right, so today we're going to um, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple pie dough. Um, in this bowl, I have three cups of flour. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to our big bowl. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, two and a half sticks of butter, which will work in a minute. I'm going to crack my eggs before I get my hands in the butter. You need two whole eggs and two egg yolks. I'm using organic eggs because I think um, they're a little bit better quality. And I use my hand to separate the egg and the egg yolk. Egg white and egg yolk, rather. Because the yolk is heavier, the white will pass through easier. And we'll just set that aside. And then I'm going to come in here with my clean hands and go ahead and break up all that butter. And you just want to break it down. And it is softened butter. I know um, many pastry chefs use cold butter. Um, but because I typically refrigerate my dough, it does not need to be cold when you're mixing it. You'll find it's much easier to mix it in. We'll go ahead and add our egg, our egg yolks. And I think you'll see this is just about as quick as any recipe you can come up with. And it really makes it unnecessary to purchase the pre-made pie shells. I'm just working the dough, moving my bowl around, gently squeezing the flour to incorporate the butter and the egg. And this will make a fairly soft um, dough since the butter is warm, room temperature. And you'll see in just a few seconds the dough comes together. And we're going to divide that dough in half for our two different pie shells. Off our hands a bit. And then we're going to go ahead and you can roll it immediately or you can refrigerate it. Um, the benefits of refrigerating it obviously is that it's a little bit uh, easier to work with. I'm going to quick wash my hands and then we'll go ahead and show you how to roll it. roll it is to roll it between two pieces of plastic wrap. By doing that, you'll eliminate the need to add extra flour, which will toughen up your lovely dough. So we'll go ahead and put it around here and put it over top of it. And I'll get my rolling pin. And I simply press down my dough in both directions.